Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and this video is brought to you from our sponsors over at 3D4Medical.com, the creator of this app and a number of other anatomy apps. This one is for the iPad, and it's called Essential Anatomy. It's available in the iPad store, I mean in the app store for the iPad, so you can check them out over there. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the contents of the cubital fossa. In the last video, we spoke about the cubital fossa, and I'm going to zoom in here really quick and uh, just illustrate, of course, for more information on the boundaries. Uh, you can find that in the previous video, so you can check that out. But the cubital fossa, if you remember, it's this triangular depression that we have as we go from arm to forearm. And that's the region that we're talking about. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at the contents that we find within that cubital fossa. Uh, some very important structures that we find there. In order to see that, I'm going to remove some of the superficial structures like the bicipital aponeurosis. I'm also going to remove... Uh, you know what, let's just leave it there. Uh, we'll just stick with that and we'll look at the contents. The f there are three things that we find in that cubital fossa. The first would be the tendon of the biceps brachii. Here we have the biceps. This is the short head and this is the long head. And you will see that we have this tendon here that if we were to remove this muscle, the brachioradialis muscle, uh, we'll see that that tendon that comes from the uh, biceps brachii is going to be inserting right here on the radius, more specifically on that radial tuberosity. That's not the focus for this video. That's another video. But you can see that tendon clearly. That is the first uh, item, the first structure that we have within that cubital fossa. And we're taking it going from lateral to medial. So from lateral to medial. First thing we find is that tendon. In order to see the next structure, I'm going to hide the short head of the bicep so that we can see the other two structures. The next one is a very significant artery. And that is going to be your brachial artery, this artery that you see here. Let's zoom in a little more so that we can see it even closer. That is your brachial artery. This is a very significant artery, especially clinically. Uh, you know, when you go to the doctor, uh, you one of the first things that they'll do is they'll usually take your blood pressure. So the nurse comes in, and if she's an old school nurse, uh, she's going to come in with a blood pressure cuff, and she's... She's going to take a stethoscope and put it right over this brachial artery uh, so that she can get um, your information about your blood pressure and, and be able to determine what your blood pressure is. This is the artery that she is targeting, this brachial artery, the second item within the cubital fossa. And then we have the third structure. And that's going to be this median nerve. The median nerve is the third structure that you find within that cubital fossa. Those are the three uh, structures. The median nerve, of course, is going down into the forearm. It's going to get uh, many of the anterior muscles of the forearm. And we'll talk about that in the next video. So the three structures are, number one, you had this tendon. Uh, I'm just showing one head of the biceps, the long head of the biceps, but you can see that at least part of that tendon that's going down from the biceps to insert on that radial tuberosity. The second structure is that infamous brachial artery uh, that your nurse is targeting. And then the third structure, and that's going to be the most medial, that is going to be your media nerve. That's a good way to remember it. The most medial structure is the medial nerve. Nerve. So going from lateral to medial, it's going to be first the tendon of the biceps, then your brachial artery, and then your median nerve. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you got tons of value from it. Uh, if you want more videos like this and other resources to help make biology fun, you know what to do. Head, back, head on over to the website at interactive-biology.com. And I'll be there to help make biology fun. So this is Leslie Samuel from Interactive Biology TV. 
That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.